just finished a week diving the famous sites of Southern Raja Ampat. It's famous for dramatic underwater topography and soft corals that burst into color under lights. Rich and varied marine life are stunning. Tonight, we transit to North Raja Ampat. At sunset, the weather is fine, but the captain says tonight there may be a few bumps. We had no idea what we would be in for. After a night of pounding from heavy seas, we are off course, anchored in an unknown secluded bay, and making repairs. There are no known dive sites here, and the locals look like they've never seen divers. We decide to give it a try anyway. We're pleasantly surprised by a sloping reef with some familiar subjects. But this unknown secluded bay seems different. It's almost like a nursery. Eggs, babies, and juveniles are everywhere. This juvenile frogfish is practicing holding still. Like most juveniles, he can't sit still for very long. Now he seems fascinated by his own lure, kind of like a puppy chasing his own tail. He seems to be following as I move away. On later dives nearer shore, we find an endless parade of nudibranchs, worms, and sea slugs. One after the other. They range from large to small, common to exotic. This algae-eating sapsucker is an unusual find. This particular species was only documented in 2016. We saw exotic coloration, body features, and behaviors such as the rotating bronchia on this individual. This bizarre scene was a puzzle underwater. After viewing the video, it appears to be a small snail munching on an anemone, or maybe the other way around. We found incredibly tiny nudibranchs in the elephant coral. This member of the Janalus species is smaller than a grain of rice. These are just a few of the delights we found in Treasure Bay that day. We left with nothing but smiles and, of course, GPS coordinates. I've given a few clues about Treasure Bay, but here's your treasure map in case you want to find it.